groups and cheers. A moment of relief after tsunami warning issued in the early hours of Tuesday morning was finally called off. The magnitude 7.9 earthquake hit the waters of Kodiak, Alaska, setting off tsunami sirens off Vancouver Island's west coast. It's something, you know, you've always thought that could happen, and, and really it's the disbelief as soon as I, um, when my staff called, I was like, no, you know, it's, it's probably nothing. You know, it, there's that momentary disbelief that this isn't happening to us, not now. Um, and it's always something you see on the news, but never something that happens to you. So I think when it does happen to you, it's a real wake-up call, um, you know, to get all your ducks in a row and to make sure that you are really prepared. Tsunami warnings were also issued for Washington, Oregon, and as far away as California. Now, the waves they experienced in Tofino were only about three centimeters, and the sea level rise was only about 15 centimeters. Nevertheless, it was a good opportunity for locals in those areas to see how well they responded. I think uh, the staff, both at the local and provincial level, did uh, an amazing job. Uh, the reports I've heard is that, uh, the, you know, you in communities such as Esquimalt, you had uh, first responders, firefighters going door to door in the low-lying areas. Uh, communities uh, were contacted right up and down the coast. Uh, in Tofino, Yuklulit, other communities, the alarms sounded. People were notified uh, by uh, phone, by text uh, to get to their uh, local emergency center. And everything I've seen to date uh, says that uh, people uh, responded uh, and did what they were supposed to do, which was to get to higher ground and get to those emergency centers. Residents of Vancouver Island were eventually told at 4.30 a.m. that the alert had been cancelled. It may have been a sleepless and scary night for them, but at least they can rest assured that when the next one does come, they'll be much more prepared. I'm Tom Walsh from Vancouver for City News.